Hi, this is a short video to show you how to use Solar Edge string optimizers and optimizers in general inside the PVCAD platform. I've set up a drawing with 70 LG solar modules on a fairly large slope drift building. First thing I'm going to do is pick two Solar Edge 14 kilowatt inverters from my database of inverters, and then I'm going to physically insert those into the drawing along the north edge of the building up here. Then I'm going to pick an AC panel and insert the AC panel next to the inverters. And then I'm going to go and just connect up using the AC conductor button. I'm going to connect the inverters and the AC panel together. Then my next task is going to be assigning the panels into strings or branches, however you want to call them. And in this case, I'm going to use the string manual command. So I set my string length to be 10. And now I'm going to um, type F for fence and then just draw a line using fence select and everywhere I draw this line it's going to group the modules into strings of 10 by how I drew that line. And you can see now that each group of 10 has been individually labeled and numbered with a unique number and I have seven groups of 10 modules here on my roof. Now I'm going to pick using source circuit conductor I'm going to pick each group of 10 and click on it and then assign it to one of the inverters. So I, I the second ones I want I hit enter I pick an alignment point I click the inverter it puts the wires in between those groups of 10 and that inverter, and it'll do the other one. And you'll see it, it gets pretty cluttered here because every wire is shown in the drawing, but you can go back and turn off the layers later um, if you want to have a cleaner drawing that doesn't show every single conductor. But what's nice here is when I generate a bill of materials, all the conductors will show up with the power conductor length in my bill of materials for the project. The next thing I'm going to do now is just go to my PVCAD ribbon and uh, hit the single line diagram button. And it's going to generate a single line doctor drawing for the project based on what I've drawn here. But what you're going to see is when it comes in, it's not going to know right away that I'm not using optimizers. It's going to assume a uh, string inverter configuration. But what I can do then is pick my module block here on the far left, and you'll notice that it has uh, a little arrow that pops up. That's for visibility states. I can switch the visibility state to be uh, optimizers. And so now it'll redraw it to show, in this case, two optimizers, or two modules connected to one optimizer. And I'll go now and change the second block as well. Here to the right, you can see the two inverters, select three inverters. And in general, we have a lot of visibility states um, in the single drawing blocks. So if I want to, I can actually do things like, uh, if I want to modify this meter block, I, I can get rid of the meter by saying no meter as my visibility state. If I want to add in a disconnect switch, it, hidden in this block is uh, both the unfuse and fuse disconnect switch options. Uh, here's my tie-in panel block, has a lot of visibility states, including like load side, line side connections. So I can manipulate the visibility states of my drawing in order to uh, make it match um, the exact setup for my single line drawing. So the next question is going to be that very first block uh, where we have two, two modules per optimizer. We don't have a visibility state for, for just one, so the way to do it is to use the bEdit command. So click on the block, type bEdit, brings up the block editor, and then you can go in and delete the extra module um, and change the text to just be uh, just one, DC, one module per DC optimizer. This is also an opportunity if you like to modify the block to make it look uh, the way you want it to look. Maybe you don't like the size of, of the module, you can change it here. And you'll see that once I've changed that, that block in the block editor, um, it affects every um, module block in my drawing. So it updates them all at once. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is where the calculations for the single line drawing come from, things like wire sizing and things like that. So in the folder where the drawing is, there's a subfolder that gets generated and there's a single line drawing Excel sheet that gets exported for the drawing. There's a bunch of tabs here in this Excel spreadsheet. But the important one is the Sheet Set tab. That's where all the results of the calculations are displayed in an organized fashion. And what I like to do is find the relevant uh, sections of this spreadsheet, and I usually copy them and paste them back into my drawing um, so I can show kind of the math that was used to generate the wire sizing and such um, for my drawing. So I'm just going to select this in Excel and then go back to AutoCAD and just paste it back in. And when it comes in, the scale is going to be off compared to 
the scale of my, of my other blocks, so I'm just going to scale it up by, like by a factor of 100, so, it, so it's a more reasonable scale. 